Dear Cloth Fan, you're a dumbass. First of all, our Constitution makes it clear that there is freedom of religion. And it makes it clear that our Founding Fathers had nothing to deal with making our country a Christian nation. Our country was never supposed to be a Christian nation. It was supposed to be a nation meant for every single person out there that was of any religious descent. Therefore, that's why it says in the Constitution, our United States of America is supposed to be for people that are of any religion. And it says... And it says in the Constitution that our Creator gave us certain unalienable rights. But it never says our Creator Jesus or our Creator God because these people who wrote the Constitution back then did not have any other way of, of expressing what they thought created us humans. Because this was before the time of the notion or the theory or the scientific fact of evolution ever was brought up by Charles Darwin. Because this happened several years later. Perhaps I believe in the 1800s that was brought up with Charles Darwin and evolution but besides the fact there was no such thing as a death sentence put for people who were homosexual that would be outrageous because it goes against the constitution of having of not having a punishment that was cruel and unusual and that of course is cruel and unusual because it has nothing to do with our secular views towards um, religious ideology and personal ideology. And uh, if you're going to blame the ruling of Uganda, uh, of Uganda against homosexuals because they had once a homosexual leader that was horrible that wanted people to follow his opinions on homosexuality and wanted other people to have homosexual butt sex. Well, that's pretty funny, but I don't think that ever happened. And if it did... Well, that has nothing to deal with his homosexual upbringing, that, or whatever it is. That only has to deal with his moral standards, and his moral standards, obviously, are very, very low. And they are not at all considered on upon what his homosexual lifestyle was like in the first place, because... Uh, for God's sakes, do you really think that every single homosexual person down the street, walking down the street, if they ever become president of the United States, are going to do the same thing to us? And if they had the choice or not, they would try as hard and as hard as they can to let this happen. No, that's a bunch of crap. Are you a retarded? You're such a retarded, stupid asshole. I mean, it, it's just like saying that all Catholics are just like, just like, uh, Hitler. That's just a bunch of shit. Hitler was Catholic, but that doesn't mean that all Catholics act that way like Hitler. That's retarded, because I know a bunch of Catholic people. Actually, most of my friends are Catholic, but they aren't going around being a dictator, and trying to kill everyone. So your points are completely invalid. And socialism, by the way, is definitely not what you're thinking of when you come to the Nazis and 
uh, Maoism and Stalin. Uh, Maoism and Stalinism are both a ways of communism, and communism is a different uh, set of ideology altogether, and that's actually a part of what uh, what the original communism was about, and that was Marxism, and Marxism is what was a a, a uh, ideology of uh, of a rule of a right for workers to unite and be the only one class. But Stalin and Mao simply could not work this out because it's against human nature. And once one person comes in power with something that makes everyone on equal level, then it's just of course going to become somewhat of a dictatorship. And that's the same thing that happened in Nazi Germany, which was indeed a socialist country, but but he made himself reign over everyone else, and he took over the Nazi party during the 1940s, or during the 1930s, during World War I. Um, and uh, just to tell you, uh, the United States at one point did have a U.S. official in Kansas named Eugene B. Debs that was a socialist. And socialism actually um, traces back through our historical timelines um, since, the 19, uh, uh, since the late 1800s um, during the first workers' unions the American Farmer Labor Unions, and all the other ones that came up until about um, the age of McCarthyism, where, where American communists were, were uh, executed or whatever they were. I don't have enough information on that. But, yeah. So all your ideas are wrong, my ideas are right, and you're just wrong. Alright, peace out.